Tadeusz Rosiewicz is one of the major Polish writers of the 20th century. He is one of the few surviving members of that generation who lived through the Second World War and then through the Stalin years, who witnessed all of that and has borne testimony to all of that in his poetry. Uh, the post-war era came to an end in 1989 with the fall of the Berlin Wall and the Iron Curtain. But those of us who are privileged to live in a peaceful post-Cold War Europe have a responsibility not to forget that experience because other people are still living through it. There's always been great interest in Polish poetry um, uh, because obviously, you know, Britain went to war uh, when the Nazis invaded Poland and um, there's always been a great affinity with, with Poland uh, and a fascination with its you know, tragic history. This great generation of poets is now disappearing. The world into which they were born um, to some degree came to an end in 1989 and we're living in a post-1989 world. And maybe that is another reason why they are so important to us, because they remind us that we are not cut off from history, that we ourselves are caught within it. We are still continuing it. I think one of the interesting things um, about Ruzhevitz is his attitude to poetry as art. And in fact, I think it was Miosh who said it first, that he's in fact an anti-poet. But what does that mean? It means that on the whole, he does without uh, the normal poetic equipment of um, meter and rhyme, and I think quite uh, a deal of metaphor too. So he's very, very stripped down. He's very much plain speech. And it's that plain speech which actually renders him so translatable. He's stripped poetry of rhetoric, uh, and as George eloquently said, poetic meter uh, and often imagery. So it's very, very plain, very sparse, uh, very, very bleak. Um, it's a kind of denuded poetry. There's no flesh on it. Wicked sun. I look through the window with its pink flower frame. Outside, cats are getting drenched, and my old mother draws some murky water with saintly hands. In the window, with a sly smile, her son stands. To jest poeta i dramaturg bezwzględnie współczesny. Sądzę, że Różewicz ma wysokie poczucie humoru. Jest człowiekiem, który wrażliwie reaguje na rzeczywistość i to, to poczucie humoru, które nie jest nachalne, ale go nigdy nie opuszcza. Nawet jak mówi o rzeczach trudnych. Przeżył wiele w swoim życiu, przeszedł trudne y, momenty, y, ale one nigdy nie zaważyły w sensie y, wciągania go w jakieś ciemne otchłanie ludzkiej egzystencji. Tadeusz Różewicz, to mnie, jest ostatni żyjący polski poet, który um, uh, really ekspresuje uh, to, co ja lubię o Poland. Um, a very special sense of tenderness and I think he's actually the last living poet that to me mm, gives me the hope that poetry is still possible. He's um, eternal and um, I don't think there is any specific fashion right now um, to his poetry. I just think that if something is really mm, emotional and it's really true and comes um, from a very heart of a writer, of, of an artist, um, generally speaking, that means that this is eternal and it doesn't just go away.